Hi, welcome to The Passionate Spitter. I am, I'm Tracy and I am in my studio today. I have a studio day and I decided to do a vlog for you um, just because, you know, I am here. I'm going to work on things and right now I'm holding my phone and I need to put my arm somewhere to stabilize everything. So I'm in the studio. I plan on finishing hopefully the Ilona sweater, which is the one with all the holes in it. Let me show you this one here. Oh, shit. It's almost finished. I have the last little bit of the second front to finish and then I can seam everything together. So my plan is today to finish that. Finish the front, weave in the ends, seam it together, wash and block by this evening. That's the plan. And the other thing I really want to do is uh, update, up, uh, update my Ravelry project page because... Um, I went on Ravelry, like you do, you know, and I use it to keep track of my things. And also because of my designs, you know, and to showcase what I create. And um, But also for myself, just as a, I did this and I made that. And I realized the other day that I have not updated my Ravelry um, since January. So... Uh, I have not put in any new projects since January 8th, which means it's been a while. <laughs> it also means there's been many projects. So what I will have to do, I'm going to have to take a pen and paper and my phone and I need to go through Instagram because thankfully I posted all the finished things there. So I need to go through my Instagram to find all the projects so that I can then put them into Ravelry. And it's going to take forever. Because <laughs> if you if you don't do it for like 11 months, you know, there's a lot of stuff that I need to put in now. So not very happy about that. But I cannot change it either. So I'll just have to live with that. Okay. So I'm not sure how far I will get with that, you know, because that is going to take a long time to do. And priority definitely is finishing my sweater. And I might knit a small bookmark. I'm going to show you later what I mean. But I kind of want to do that as well. So yeah, I will listen to music. I will work on my sweater. I will drink coffee. And um, once I have all of those things, I'm going to talk to you again.
I'm still in the studio, of course, because it's a studio day. The sun came out and I opened the door to let in fresh air, which is, I heard, a very distinctly German thing to do, apparently. Lüften. Um, but I opened the door and even though the sun is out, it's like freezing cold outside. <laughs> so I'm not sure how long I will keep it open, but for like maybe 10 minutes. And yeah, I'm just, can you see the sun? I love sunshine. But I like cold weather, so you know, this is my favorite time of year. Hi, again. So, I got something in the mail. Want to know what's in here? It's yarn. And the best thing about this is, in theory, I already own this yarn. But I cannot find it anywhere. I would say like three days ago, I was sitting here knitting on the skirt, you know, the dress turned skirt that I want to wear for my next birthday. I realized that, ooh, I need to get the next skein of white yarn because I'm running out, yeah? And I went to the drawer where all of the yarn for that dress is. And all of the yarn is in there, except for the white. So I spent the next two hours searching for that yarn and I could not find it. it disappeared. So two days ago I decided to fuck this and I ordered two more skeins because uh, you know without the yarn I'm unable to finish my skirt. So here it is. This is how it came. It says thank you very much. And you know what the worst part about this is? I actually carry this yarn in my studio shop. I have this yarn in the shop, but not in this color. So I had to order from a different shop. Here it is, skein number one, skein number two. Of course, the lot numbers are completely different, but as this is the undyed white one, I mean, but even these two look very different on camera right now. But they are actually the same lot number, so maybe it just looked like it. So I have two more. I'm gonna definitely need one more because let's let's just talk about the skirt while we're here, right? I am this far. I have done one row of color work since I showed this to you the last time. So this is where I'm at. It looks like this, you know, nothing special so far, but this here, what you can see, is a complete full skein of yarn. Complete skein of yarn. So, I need to finish that color work section. And I still have the pattern here. I'm just going to show you the front. So, I'm right, right here somewhere. Here. And I need to finish this bit. And I wasn't sure if one skein would be enough or not. So I just got two to be on the safe side because <laughs> let's face it, once I find the two skeins that I already own, I'm going to have three left and that will be enough for a sweater. Also, already getting a bit pissed because this one has a knot. Can you see? This skirt is cursed. <laughs> okay, now I will not work on this now. I will finish my buttonhole sweater because... I have done about half of that front that is missing. So I'm going to pop this skeins in here. And while we're talking, oof, oof, <laughs> I feel like I'm a vampire and melting. So um, while I was not on camera, I did some knitting. Now, yeah, that's the right way. This does not have any shaping, right? It's just a slit. So... You can see how much I have left. It's not that much. So I am going to finish knitting this right now. And then I'm going to weave in the ends, seam it together and get it completely done. And then I can work on the skirt again. Because now I am focused on this. And let's face it, if I stop working on this now to work on the other thing, that's just dumb because it's almost finished. So I'm going to finish it completely. And then I can focus again on my skirt. I 
I don't even know how to begin. So, I kind of feel like I'm playing yarn chicken. I have this much left to knit, right? Like those three buttonhole rows. And this is all the yarn I have left. And this is not a lot. I was pretty sure that I did my math. But, you know, maybe the math isn't mathing or my brain isn't braining. One of those two things could be possible or both. So, uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm here. So, wish me luck that I did my math correctly and this yarn will be enough to finish the sweater. <laughs> because if not, I'm going to be very angry. It's gonna work out, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I hope so. Also, I need to clean my glasses. If you wear glasses, you know this, <laughs> but if you don't, as someone who wears glasses, once you realize how dirty they are, all you can see is the dirt on the glasses. Until you realize, it doesn't matter how dirty they are because you don't realize that it's there, you just, you know, can look into the world, but because of the sunlight and my um, um, sunning my face while knitting, I have now seen how dirty my glasses are and I am unable to see anything else. So I need to clean them and then uh, continue knitting in the hopes that I am going to be able to do it. So this is my first time trying to do a voiceover and this clip is not very exciting to watch, I know that, but it is the very last of the buttonholes that I had to knit and I needed to record that because there were a lot of them. I have one and a half rows in the bind of left. And there's a knot. Mm. Food break. My husband just came back home and he brought lunch. In here is Turkish food. And I'm going to love it. So I'm going to eat now. And then I only need to do the bind off on my sweater. And then I'm done. But I'm going to eat first because I'm really hungry now. I bound off and finished. I'm gonna leave a long end to seam the shoulder seam, which is quite big. Also, me having to cut the yarn means one thing. I won at Yarn Chicken. The math did math, the brain did brain, everything worked out and I have enough left to do the seaming, which is basically what I had planned. And it's nice when a plan comes together, you know? It's just, <clears throat> so I have enough left to do all the seams and then this will be probably all used up which is perfect because then I have no leftovers to deal with and let's face it whatever is left after that's just gonna go to the trash because it's not gonna be a much but it is done this is the front of the sweater the back and the sleeves are finished as well I'm gonna leave that little marker in there at the bottom because that shows me where the front of that thing is because you know it's garter stitch so yeah I now need to weave in the ends I'm gonna do that first and then I will seam but 
I think before I do any of those things, I need some coffee. I just started the coffee maker and I filled the, the beans. And when I did that, I saw this. And it looked so pretty. It's the sunlight hitting my empty coffee bag. But, you know, it looks so pretty, doesn't it? It's like disco on my spindles. Woohoo! So while we're here, I need to practice for Vlogmas because I have a different coffee maker this year. So I'm not sure yet when to start my Vlogmas, I don't know, seven seconds of coffee making in the morning. Should I start here with the grinding? I know it's loud, sorry. So should I start with the grinding or when it starts actually making coffee? Hmm. I think this is better, right? Like I always did when the coffee starts dripping. Okay. Okay. I have decided not to finish the sweater today. To do the weaving in and seaming. Because it is getting dark now very quickly. And I am not doing that without daylight. So I am going to do it tomorrow. That's what I wanted to say. Which now leaves me with the question, what will I knit? I could knit on the colorwork skirt. You know, that will probably be the absolute smartest choice. But I don't know if my brain will be able to take that in tonight. Huh. I also am working again on the Jones cardigan. It's a pattern by Tinker Knits and I'm knitting that for my son. And uh, I started that also, I think, two years ago. And, you know, kids grow. So <laughs> I have no idea if it will fit when I'm done, but I need to finish that. So I will probably go get that because I have already split four back and fronts. It's bottom up in one piece. So at some point you need to split for three pieces. You know, front, back, front. And I am working on the first front right now. Um, and I want to do... That is supposed to be a long-sleeved cardigan with a shawl collar. And I am going to convert it into a no-sleeve vest with a hood. So, I should probably go get that and work on that for a bit now. Because the studio... Let me... My watch just eh, rolled around. My studio is still open for two and a half hours. And now it's only 3.30. But within an hour it's going to be so dark. So I'm not going to work on the other sweater. The buttonhole sweater. I will finish that tomorrow and not, not sweat it. You know, it doesn't matter if it takes a day longer or not. Um... So yeah, I will go get the chones and work on that. I was right with my decision not to start um, seaming the sweater because it is getting dark now and it has been about an hour since I last spoke to you so I would not have been able to finish that but I did finish something else finish I finished the front the left front of the Jones so this here right is the Jones cardigan it's knit in one piece from the bottom up then you split and I finished the first front I am now working on the back and then I'm gonna knit the other front it's a super easy to knit pattern 
I have made this before, also for my child. Um, but when I made it for the first time, I made the size two to three year old. And now I'm making eight to 10 year old. And I'm gonna show you pattern picture. Let me try and find a pattern picture so you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so here's the pattern picture. You cannot tell, you cannot see anything, can you? Let me show you a bit better, bigger picture. So, wow, right? You see a lot here. It's a cardigan. What else can I say? Um, so yeah, I am working on the back piece now. Like I said before, I will not do sleeves. I will do a hood instead. And the yarn that I'm using is hand dyed. And I had two big skeins with 150 grams each. It's about a DK weight. And because I was not sure if that would be enough, you could see on the body, the bottom ribbing, I did in a contrast yarn and I chose this here. This is Regia Tweet 6 ply. And I chose this because I just felt it would work well with the rest because the rest kind of looks like tiger stripes to me. Like a, a very blonde tiger, you know, but still. And that tweed yarn just looked good with it. Also, I had it. So I used it. It's a 50 gram skein. It's all that I have. So um, we'll see how far this will get me. But I'm going to now knit the back. Like I said, I am probably going to carry this project bag around with me now until I'm done with this project because I kind of want to finish it now, you know? So, yeah, I'm going to work on this um, also tonight and hopefully finish it soon. What I really enjoyed, so this is hand dyed yarn. And normally, if you are using hand dyed yarn and you change the amount of stitches on your needles, the patterning of the hand dyed yarn will change because, you know, there's less or more room to cover. But this here kind of looks almost the same. When you look at it, let's look at it like this. So when you look from the bottom where I had like all of the stitches to the top, I feel like it does not look super different. Do you understand what I mean? It doesn't look like it doesn't go together, which sometimes can happen when you use hand dyed yarn. You have like uh, kind of variegated at the bottom and then you split and have less stitches and then you get stripes it didn't happen here it kind of looks the same i like that so um but yeah now i am going to work on this more it is 15 minutes to 5 so it's 4 45 and i'm going to close my studio at 6 so i have over an hour left to work on this Let's find out how, how far I can get. I'm knitting this, by the way, on pony needles. I really like them because they are very long needles, you know? When I compare them to the Knit Pro needles that I used for the buttonhole sweater, let's just take out one needle, hold them together where the cable attaches. It's a bit longer. Not a whole lot, but a bit. And that bit really makes a difference when holding the needle because I'm not sure if you can tell I have very big hands so the longer the needle the more comfortable uh, it is in my hand and this you know that two millimeters or three millimeters that this is longer makes it so that it will um, I have needle here touching my hand instead of cable can you see the difference when I hold this the table, the cable is here on my arm, on my hand. And when I hold this needle the same way, I still have needle touching my hand. So I like that. Okay, now stop talking, keep knitting. I tend to do this. If you follow me on Patreon, I upload a vlog every week, like a long one, about an hour, about, you know, my week. And I tend to keep talking to the camera so I can procrastinate on what I'm supposed to do. So that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to stop doing that, though. 
I'm going to continue knitting because it's my studio day. It's the one day a week where I get to knit all day. And I still haven't gone through my Ravelry, you know, through Instagram to write down all the Ravelry projects. <coughs> I just swallowed my spit wrong. <coughs> okay. Oof. Um, so, uh, I need to do that as well. I was choking with my husband earlier because I complained to him yesterday about my own stupidity when it comes to Ravelry. And yes, I know I'm still procrastinating, but psh, so, and he was here and I was like, ah, uh, not sure what to work on now. And, hmm. and he just looked at me and said, well, either you choose one of the million things that you have started, or you could update your Ravelry. That will keep you busy. I'm like, you know what? Just go, <laughs> just go away. <laughs> He's not wrong, though, but, you know, he doesn't need to know that. So, okay, I'm going to go talk to you later. I just did something that I normally never do. Uh, I complained. <laughs> I actually contacted the Knit Pro customer service because of this broken needle. Because this was in a project and I have not knit a lot with this needle and this it just snapped can you see the wood and here's the rest so i complained about that and also because i was at it let me put this away again i also complained at pony needles because of this needle here doesn't look very how it's supposed to look right um i tried to fix that I'm unable to. So I contacted them and let them know that this is not good. And I still would love to have a solution to fix it again because I love these needles and I want to use them and they're expensive needles as well. You know, the Knit Pro tips, they are, um, it, it, it angers me when they break, but these are way more expensive. This was a fixed circular and I just really want to be able to use it again. But I can't. I'm not sure if you can tell, but uh, I have an arm. I, I need an extra arm right now. Let me try to, to do it like this. Here. Can you tell where it is still attached? It looks like there's a tiny um, metal uh, ball here. That is lost. So I'm not sure how we'll be able to get the other and to stick you know maybe i can just glue it in i don't know but i contacted two different customer services in the hopes that they will replace my broken needles okay now um if i just <laughs> slip that in there's a lot of room which means that it will be a place where it will snag a lot but I wonder if I put this in here, can I, can I do it? Oh my God, I can't. Okay. <laughs> if I put it in here, glue it down and then use some pliers to just squeeze it shut. Do you think that will work? I mean, I'm going to try because why not, right? I'm unable to use the needle as it is. So if I completely break it, I'm going to just still be unable to use it. There will be no change. So I'm going to give that a go. I'm going to put in some um, strong glue. Sekundenkleber. I don't know what the word for that is right now. But I'm going to put that in. And then I am going to squeeze it shut. Because can you see that bit of wiggle room? I will snag there all the time. And that is why in this end here, there is this tiny metal ball. But I don't have that tiny metal ball. And I'm not sure where to find one. Do you think maybe one of those little balls that is in a, a ink cartridge could work? I don't know. But uh, yeah. It's half an hour left until I close the door. And I haven't knit since I spoke last to you because I was busy with the customer services and a phone call. So I'm now going to knit and try to fix this needle. 
So this video is coming to an end. It is now 6.20 and I am going to close my studio for today. I got quite a lot of knitting done. I finished knitting the buttonhole sweater and I will completely finish that one tomorrow. I finished the left front of the vest and I did about this much of the back. And I also sent out two emails to complain about broken needles, which, you know, <laughs> I know, I know. But I'm actually proud of that because I never complain about things because I'm too scared of what happens after. And I decided to just go for it because I can't use the needles now anyways. So if I complain or not, even if they don't react, nothing changes. So only good thing can happen, you know. And yeah, that's it. I hope you all had a great day and I will see you in my next video. And if you want to see more vlogs where you also get to see me journal and cook or bake or, you know, drive around, see some scenery, watch some cows, you should head over to Patreon where I post a vlog every single week. And I think the um, hashtag for vlog has over 70 entries. So there's a lot of things over there. Okay, now I am gone. I hope you all had a great time. Bye.